And the train carrying lawmakers to the retreat struck a garbage truck, killing one and injuring six others. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating. Several people have reported a malfunction of the safety gates at that railroad crossing. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvey joins us with more. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Wyatt. 28-year-old Christopher Foley died in that crash. He leaves behind a one-year-old son. His co-workers call him a friend and a brother. House Chaplain Father Pat Conroy, a Jesuit minister to the injured, and lawmakers pitched in as well. Lawmakers who are doctors rushed to help when a train carrying Republican congressmen hit a garbage truck in rural Virginia. I counted at least nine doctors that answered the call and two nurses that answered the call and a priest that gave last rites. It, it, the circumstances of that, if it was going to be a horrible tragedy, the, the American people would have been proud of how their members of Congress and that team launched into action and did the right thing. Representative Phil Rowe of Tennessee, an obstetrician, was one of them. Your brain just clicks into what you, it's almost like riding a bicycle. You know what to do. You know you have to have an airway. You know we have to make sure you stabilize the neck. Also on the train, Representative Roger Marshall of Kansas, another doctor. I got on the scene. I also checked for pulses, couldn't find any, so we initiated CPR and, and tried for several, several minutes. And, you know, eventually EMS showed up. We tried shocking the patient a couple of times, still unsuccessful, kept with CPR and just never really got the gentleman back. Unfortunately, they weren't able to save that gentleman. 28-year-old Christopher Foley, worker on the truck. We never know why God calls somebody home like he did yesterday, uh, but at the same time, he was watching over us and allowed us to help our fellow man. Unfortunately, the accident occurred, but for those on the train, if we had not hit the back of that truck and we had hit it either head on or directly into the side like a T-bone, I believe the whole train would have derailed. Catholic Congressman Wenstrip also tells me he asked Father Pat Conroy to give Christopher Foley last rites. Lawmakers held a prayer service for the victim and his family, and President Trump offered his prayers today in West Virginia. Wyatt? So just an upsetting way to start a GOP retreat. Uh, Jason, switching gears now, what are the issues Republicans are focusing on? Well, this is a business meeting with time for families, also to relax and bond with other lawmakers and their families. It's a, a big strategy session, too, on issues like immigration. Uh, senators have until next week to come up with a, a deal on immigration to satisfy members of both parties. And we'll see if they're able to get that done by next week. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvey. Thanks, Jason.